<laughs> it's, it's our first day in court. All right. Let's uh, <laughs> let's let's try to prove that Will Powers is innocent. We have that picture, so maybe that's gonna help. We'll see. God damn it! It's Edgeworth again, man. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. And the defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented, presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well. I'd like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I'd like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Alright. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case of the court. Oh, yes sir! I'll explain it with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? Uh, this here is the employee area. Uh, the actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. Now, this is the main gate to the studio. Uh, the security lady that worked at the studio was here at 1 p.m. that day. Uh, past the security station, there's a gate, see? Uh, and past that are the studios. Here it is, Studio One. Now this is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. Uh, the victim, Jack Hammer, uh, the defendant, Will Powers, and the young woman, the, the production assistant. Now, all the production staff were in the employee area until noon. After lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to the Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., security lady got to the station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. Samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear it again? Hmm. Should I listen to that whole thing again? I've heard it before. I'm sure it's fine. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Your Honor, <laughs> the case is quite simple if you ask one question, and that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Oh my, aren't you a handsome fella? Oh, I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> y your name, please. Oh dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed, just call me Grandma. Your name, please! Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their name. Wendy Oldbag, dearie. <laughs> Just call me Grandma. When I was young, I was an old bag and still the children make fun of my name. Can you believe it? But there was this boy, the captain of the chest in junior high, and he called me an old bag. Well, and I just cried and cried and... Uh, oh, objection! I I object to this witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. Oh, I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. 
Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was! And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. Ah, oh, you know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. Oh my god, she sure is one hell of an old bag. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run-through since that morning. Well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5 p.m. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2. It was Powers! The man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Oh. All right, I can't read this again. <laughs> Not in her voice, man. I'm pretty sure the contradiction is at the very end here. I'm pretty sure it's right at the end when she said that she saw powers, because she didn't see powers, right? She saw the steel samurai. That's different. A certain man walked by me. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Got wax in your ears, Sonny. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. Man, right there. He's heading toward the studio. Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Uh, yeah. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Hey, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, this, er, witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmph, huh. nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised, man. The prosecution like to ask the old... The witness. Please make known all information in your possession ahead of time. How was I told to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me, this isn't any... Good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look! Wow. Old Windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. 
Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Mr. Powers. Happy? Hmm. So he had sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Wait, wait. Not, not... Um... Whippersnapper! Hey, I haven't even said anything yet. I'll have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow, the up and up! Youth today always whining about each other, pointing fingers this way and that. It's enough to make an old lady want to cry. Mr. Wright, please, for all our sakes, try not to upset the witness. Edgeworth has met his match. <laughs> Dude, she wasn't here that morning. She showed up at 1 p.m., man. She said she had errands to run. Oh my god. She's freaking lying, man. Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, he's the steel samurai. Then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate. And me. Uh, what exactly were you doing? Observing, just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through. I saw Powers trip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better. I kissed it where it hurt. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. You may continue your testimony. I broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Broke a prop? Sure did! His own samurai spear! He broke the murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. it strikes me as a significant detail. I gotta write this down in the court record. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Plus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot, okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? Uh, um... A actually, well, we, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. I suppose that's right. Are you sure, Your Honor? Mm -hmm, man. No way. Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have yet to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. 
Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? Oh, no need to ask twice. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30, true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen him. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. How do you know that? Yeah, didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness of donuts. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. You absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking past by at all. Nobody suspicious looking. Right. No one else went there. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 p.m.? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention... If they had, I would have seen them! Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let them have it, edgy boy. Uh, edgy boy. Uh, old windbag sure has balls, or... Well... You know what I mean? <laughs> Old windbags have a way of skipping over important details after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient! Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? The time of poor Hammer's death. Oh, man. Oh. What are we gonna do, man? Hmm. It says photo number two, man. Maybe that's what we have to present when she says there's nobody else. Hold on! Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes siree, Sonny! So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground! Uh, right. Anyway... It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know. If you wanted to work at that studio, we might have an opening. Now, that very computer printed out this photo. Note on the back of that photo are printed the words, October 5th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I, I knew that too. Uh, the issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. 
Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. The evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access to the, sec the security lady herself! Ugh! You watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw that day was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice! That means two people went by. Uh, well, yes, that, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Uh, <laughs> I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Oh, edgy boy, help! Uh -huh. B believe me, I, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Huh. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Uh, is something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, uh, that's right. I, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. I see. Your testimony, please. Oh my god, dude. This is killing me, I'm dying. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Uh, Mrs. Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Hmm. Hold it. Another job? Th that's right! I check all the people that passed by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. Ah, but these computers are so frustrating. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Oldbag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious-looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huh. A fanboy. A, 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 a fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboy. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. When was there that day? Objection! Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words! Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. <laughs> The grate has been loose for a while, and it leads outside, and, well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And... They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids? So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. 
What? Order, order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studio that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Uh, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there, that makes him a suspect! Yeah, they're already trying to unsuspect him. I'd like to take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Man. Mr. WP? Uh, yes. Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I... I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? Oh, how should I know? The Steel Samurai was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it. Really? What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What, what are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day! Right. If we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You, you don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick! It's time. Alright, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that! will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else who have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could com who could have committed this crime. Order! Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind, however... Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who was this person other than Mr. Powers who could have committed the murder? Well, it can't be the great school boy. Could either be the assistant girl or the security lady. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Who? The steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. 
It was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. Uh, what? Whippersnapper! Order! Order! Is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi! She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume, then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder! Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see! Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes the second, baby. That's odd. Isn't this where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with, like, an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Uh, what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something! That's my move. Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way! The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast down on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds, tops! Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh. Or is it be nice to them kids and mean to your elders day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof? Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder. <sighs> oh yeah. Take that! The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy... What was her name? Uh, something old bag, your honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Wait a second! I'm not gonna just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me! I'm talking! Oh great! Stop the presses! Windbag wants to talk! Miss Windbag, old bag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not, not to talk about? By whom? Oh, 
Was it Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify! <sighs> Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend that they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. So you were told not to talk. That's right. By the studio and the, by the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. There were some other people. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Yeah, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and at, they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? There was a Studio 2. Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. If you go through the gate and all the way to the left, the path where the monkey's, the path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright? Would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked my, all my questions, but... Yeah. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus, and you still talk? Hmm. That's all the questions I have to ask. Fine. Your Honor, we have learned that there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer, and their some bigwigs, were all present. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people who have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day proceeding of the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really, it's nothing. Or... Should I? We'll be going down to the studios and do some more investigations. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up for the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that steel samurai costume? 
Could it really have been old windbag? What do you... <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Alice? Oh, I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there with or without my accusation. All right, let's get down to the studios. Right! We'll be back to visit you soon! Aw, oh, thanks. Thanks, guys. 